Hi there, friends. Today we are talking about boat couplers, trailer mount hitches, trailer balls. Now, bear with me because we're going to be discussing a lot of freck and knackle bull that people will slip on you if you're not aware. It's very important because it could save your life, your equipment, or the lives of others as you travel down the highway pulling your favorite trailer, whether it's a boat or utility trailer or RV you're using a tow hitch. A lot of people now are buying boats and they got a vehicle that they know got a tow hitch on the back and they may go out and put a ball on it but they're very excited and nothing wrong with being excited about getting yourself a boat or utility trailer. But these are just some basic things to be aware of. A lot of you may already know, and that's a good thing. If you have any additional comments to help me and my fellow viewers out, just drop them down in the comment section. Appreciate it. This is from the Fishing Hooker. Your boy, the Fox. All right, let's get it going. First thing, when I bought a used boat and trailer many years ago, things I wasn't aware of, so I just want to share it with you because I'm updating now a new coupler and a new tow trailer mount hitch and a new trailer ball. All right? But I'm just highlight again some things that I did not know when I years ago and it may be some helpful to you now. All right, let me switch up the view. All right, now we got the view switched up. For this, I got my truck, I got a two inch tow hitch to the boat, to the truck. It's two inch square and if you're not careful, a lot of people won't, may not have the hitch on the truck, the hitch down here, so they may have the information that's on the bumper. And it says, I don't know if you can read it or not, but I'm going to read it. It says maximum tongue load, 500 pounds. That's another video in itself, what that means. It's how much pressure and pounds you could put on this bumper. And the maximum trailer, it says, trailer capacity, a trailer load is 5,000 pounds. Now keep in mind, this is a 2,500 heavy duty truck. Maximum trailer load, 5,000 pounds. Seems like a lot, right? It's two and a half tons. But guess what? What I'm pulling, 7,000 pounds. That's a combination of the boat and the trailer. And when I got this trailer, it had a brand new couple on it. And it was a used trailer. And it had a couple of rating. You can't see it now because I painted over it. But it says capacity 3,500 pounds. So in other words, this, this trailer coupler is not rated for the amount of weight that it's been pulled. And I've been fortunate that I haven't had no major issues with it on the highway in a state like I-95, traveling three or four hours to a body of water from where I live from time to time. Most of the time I just trailer it up about 10 or 12 minutes to the lake and drop it in at uh, Gaston Lake. But if I'm going further, which I have been many times, um, this 3,500 coupler is held up, believe it or not, but it's not the best because it should be rated for 
the amount that I'm towing. And it's a two inch ball hitch. Now let's look at what I was pulling the tow mount with the condition. Now this is an oldie but goodie tow hitch mount. I pulled three boats with this over the years. Three. Again, three boats. All was, no, two were cutty cabins and one was a bow rider. A Galaxy was the first boat. That thing was heavy. It was an 18 foot Galaxy. Then I got a 20 foot Rankin. Same ball, everything. Then I pulled the trophy with it, 20 foot cutty cabin trophy for three years now. And that is the condition. You can see it's uh, kind of rusted because I just leave it hooked on the back of the trailer. I never did take it off, which I will stop doing. But you got to really take care of your hitch and ball. But it never had no problem with it. It never jumped off. The, uh, the trailer never jumped off of it. And it's been amazing. I had very good confidence, a lot of gut confidence in this uh, hitch ball. And it's kind of heavy. You can see it's hollow. It's hollow. And it still feels pretty solid. Got some nice weight to it. This thickness right here. It's got some good weight to it. And what is it rated? It's rated for 6,000 pounds. Can't really see it anymore. It's just about worn. But it was rated for 6,000 pounds. For a long time, I thought it was rated for 5,000. Yeah. But still, it's uh, not rated enough for to be super safety for what I'm towing. Okay, it should be rated more than what I'm towing, like putting on suspenders and a belt. You want to make sure that it don't give out on you, especially on the highway at high speeds. All right, so let's take this off that on the ground for right now and this is what I'm replacing it with see that ball there see this ball this ball is rated if you can see it 10,000 pounds 10,000 pounds 10,000 pounds that's more than enough for what I'm gonna tell you okay because even though, remember I said this bumper is 5,000 pounds rated, but my trailer hitch here, my trailer hitch right here is rated for 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds, it came with the truck, 10,000 pounds. And when I bought the truck, that's what I wanted to make sure how much this was weighed. This is rated for 10,000 versus the bumper rated for 5,000. So you see the holes here. I'm not going, I never use these. I always use the trailer hitch. And this is the electrical part of it. So now I got a 10,000 pound ball, two inch ball that matched the rating of my trailer hitch. And I have a, woo, okay, thing heavy. I have a toe. Let me see, I put it on the ground. See the difference? Let me turn that around. Okay, bear with me here. You see the difference in the um, size of it. You can just see it's the one on the bottom, the black one is, is definitely heavier duty. And this is rated, this one here is rated for, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm not, 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds. And this tow hitch, this coupler, the brand new, just got that. Brand new. I put a link in it below where I get where I'm getting this stuff from. This is a two inch ball automatic coupler. Right? And 
it's rated for 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds coupler versus the 3,500. Okay, being a boat and trailer is about 7,000 pounds. I got more than enough now safety and reliability pulling this down the highway. And I stand corrected. This black one here is solid. It's not hollow. It's solid all the way through. And it's rated for 17,000 pounds. 17,000 pounds. I, I couldn't pull. This truck is not rated for 17,000 pounds to pull or anything. But I got this one for 17,000 pounds. It was on sale. I'll drop the link below. I just went on and got the Class 5. This is a Class 5 mount. Trailer hitch mount. Class 5. It's, it's like above and beyond. And it's better to have something bigger. They said, uh, do size matter? Yeah, in this case, size do matter. I put this bad boy on. I ain't got to worry about it breaking with what I'm towing or giving away. So that's a great thing. So I got 17,000 pounds mount. I got a rated 10,000 pound ball. And I got a 10,000 pound coupler pulling a seven, roughly 7,000 pound boat. Okay, so now you got it. I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out. Might have to do some drilling because this is two holes here, just two holes. And this coupler has three holes. See, I don't know if you can see it or not. Three holes. So I'm gonna have to drill and uh, put that on to the frame of the trailer and it'll be cool all right hang in there thanks for watching please subscribe and uh, like it and also like i say if you've got any any positive uh comments let me know now this automatic trailer hitch and you just pull this pin out you can put a lock in there too to lock it and then pull it back, it's real strong. But all I gotta do is put this over the ball and let her drop down and she automatic lock in place. And I can pull it back like this and put the pin up there and hold it back to take it off. Great, all right. I'll be back with you shortly, peace. Finally, the song say finally. So we finally got the coupler put on correctly. You can see the safety cables are hooked up. Make sure when you put these on, you cross them up to your truck or tow vehicle. Make sure you got a good ground wire for your trailer lights. Everything look uh, pretty good. As the friend of mine used to say many moons ago everything copacetic yeah yeah <laughs> that's a term my father used to use when i was a little boy him and his buddies everything was copacetic and i had a friend growing up as a teenager he would say the same thing everything copacetic fox so we got it going on yeah so the whole purpose is to be safe and remember not to um, tow more than your coupler or tow hitch can can pull. Don't don't put yourself out there like that. All right. Small investment is worth your life. You don't want to become blood guilty of killing nobody else on the highway, or you, if not nobody death, but you might just tear up your boat, your trailer, or whatever you're pulling up your, your truck or other any vehicle that you're using to tow with so be careful thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for other videos we will bring and um, 
We look forward to talking to you again. Okay. So all we're going to do now is wrap it up. Yeah. You can see the toe hitch there. It's on there. That looks good. Again, that uh, hitch receiver is rated 17,000 pounds. The toe ball is 10,000 pounds. The coupler is a 10,000 pound rating. Not saying you got to get that, but I went overboard, you know, for the simple fact I'm pulling about 7,000 pounds plus, and I want to make sure that I got enough safety equipment that it won't break, pull away because I'm underrated. Plus, I get inspected by the state police, I get a ticket or a fine, right? So we don't want to do that. All right, peace. Enjoy yourself. Be safe out there.